Hi beauties, so let's go right into it and um, forgive me my voice, I am having a flu. So I go in with using a spoolie to come out my brows as usual. Then I'm lining my brow with Davis number 3 eye pencil and I start from I start feeling from the outer corner going towards the inner corner. You guys know the drill. And when I get to the inner corner, I draw a hairline trans so that to make it look more believable, not too boxy. So I go back in with the spoolie to comb out the front side so that my brows can be seen, my hair brows. So I'm lining my brows with this iron foundation. Using it to line my brow and uh, bottom brow. I'm using this with a flat brush. And guys, if you are watching more than to here, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It does help and it's free. <laughs> so after lining the brow, I blend it out with my middle finger. So for my top brow, I'm using my foundation. I still use that same flat brush after lining I use my middle finger to blend it out so that when I'm applying foundation later I won't have any issue I don't like issues in life so I try to avoid patches later so I went back in with the Zaron foundation as my eyeshadow base I blend it out with the damn beauty sponge. I dab, 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 so that everything will blend right in. So I'm going in first with this jelly. Okay, I'm, this is the only palette I actually use today. The jelly by V Beauty. I'm using that brown shade. I stop tapping it from the inner corner. Oh. I didn't guys already know this was when I was blocking the camera. I'm very sorry. So I dab it at the edges of my eyes since I didn't I wanted this thing. Let me show you, let me just show you guys. So I went in with the second transition shade to blend it in. I'm using a circular motion since I don't like any harsh lines. I blend it in all the way out to the outer corner that there will not be any line of demarcation that the flow the blending will seem seamless so this is what I wanted showing you I use that shade that goldish shade to pop on my the middle of my bra on my eyes oh it's like the flow is affecting my brain too <laughs> So I tap, 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 tap. Since I wanted to this makeup to be a glowy look, so I have the flu and see my face with the pimples. So I wanted something to cover up. That didn't give me in the glow I was going for. So I went back into that same palette to take that white. Actually, white. Yeah, more than one. It's white. To apply on the silver I applied before so I now went back into the first transition color to blend it all out so that there will be no line of demarcation you guys know I hate when my found my eyeshadow does not flow in so to line my to draw my wing eye I went in with that eyeliner and guys the struggle is real and you know you can when you after drawing you can't clean it out so you try as much as possible not to make any mistakes but when you know that you can't correct anything you leave it at that so for my mascara I'm going in with this since I had fallout of the shadows on my lashes so I had to clean it off with that mascara so for my moisturizer I'm going in with this Nivea body cream using it to moisturize all over my face you guys know that this is the season where the skin gets dry easily so moisturizing actually very important this period and to avoid so that the makeup will be long lasting i went in with pons lasting oil primer i applied this all over my problem areas 
and I blend it all in. So I apply my lashes and I press it into my natural lashes. I don't like that look of your natural lash is different, the falsies is different. So I tend to press it in. So for my foundation, I'm going in with Maybelline Super Stay Foundation in the shade Warm Coconut. Ooh, you guys know already. So I'm using a brush to dab it out. Dab, 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 dab. Since I have so many issues on my skin these days, I don't know why. Guys, please, if you have any solution, tell me. I don't know why I'm having breakouts. I thought it was that time of the month, but it has come and gone. I'm still having breakouts. I don't know what else to do. So if you have any suggestion, please help a sister. So I'm dabbing, 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 dabbing. And don't forget to blend in your neck too. Those finishes, your hairline everywhere. That there will be lines of demarcation. You blend it in. So for my highlights, I'm, I'm going in with this same Zaron foundation. And this foundation is actually very full coverage. So... A little amount actually goes a long way since it's very the consistency is very thick and blending sometimes is actually very difficult. So if you are using it as a full face foundation, you should spray your setting spray first so that it will be easier to blend out. But don't worry, I got it covered. I will blend it all out. So I go in with my damn sponge, damn beauty blender to dab it in i'm not moving the product i'm just dabbing it in you guys saw that when i started the makeup i actually have dark circles so i had i had to have it covered and i didn't know la girl couldn't agree with this much coverage that's why i used this so to set the rest of my face i'm going in with this avo professional powder palette and i'm using this shade to set all the highlighted part of my face I dab it in with this brush that's under my eye my chin my forehead so for my contour oh my smile lines too don't forget that for my contour I go in with this shade and I apply using a circular motion I'm using a circular so there will be no harsh lines I'm always saying this you apply it in a circular motion so that the thing there will not be that strip the flow will be seamless and I'm, I'm contouring my hairline too since I don't want to look as if I have a max on guys I've seen this look and does not look nice at all so to contour my nose I go in with a smaller brush I draw a line from below my brows and I actually blend it all into my brows after blend it down so to set the rest of my face i go in with that my finishing powder i'm using this it's not a dabbing motion like that everything will blend in the contour the highlight everything will just blend in and my neck too so to line my waterline i'm going in with this white pencil i don't know where it's from but I think I'll put in the description box below. To buff out my under eye area, I'm going with this green. I wanted something different. Now. I just assume I've not used green on my waterline before. So why not? Makeup is trying out new things. So to set the rest of my face, I'm going with the Classy Mist and Fix Setting Spray. I'll let it set in so that all those powders, they will just hold themselves. So to highlight, I go back in with that Avo Professional Powder Palette. I'm using a smaller brush. I'm using a circular motion. We are trying to avoid harsh lines that do not look too artificial. Even though I don't want to look too natural too. When I have makeup on, I want everybody to know there is a makeup on my face. So to contour, to highlight my nose. What's wrong with me with contour? I go in with a smaller brush. And I apply a blend out. I apply a blend out for my lips. I'm going with this classic colors. And guys, if you're using classic lippies, it's actually very difficult to work with because it dries out pretty 
fast. So if you are not fast enough, blending it out later will be a problem. So, and when you are using classic, you should like moisturize your lip first before you start the makeup. So that when you are applying the lip later, it won't be, you won't have issue. So I wanted an ombre effect, an ombre lips. So I went in with this white shade and I blend it out too. So guys, hope you like the video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, like, subscribe. Until the next video, bye.